Hi, Barbara. What do you do on a daily basis to maintain your weight? Signed, Curious in New York. Hi, Curious. Well, I've kept my weight the same for about 29 years now, give or take a few pounds here and there. And there are definitely certain daily habits that I can credit with helping to keep unwanted pounds away. Keep moving. Now, I'm not talking about exercise. I simply walk around a lot during the day. I never spend more than one hour sitting in one place. I'm always moving like a shark. I'm just talking about moving, nothing exotic. Just get up and take a little spin around your house or around the office. Order smart. Learn to read a menu and don't be afraid to special order. There's always a better option for me or for you. I have some friends who are chefs and they actually like a special order. They feel needed. What you say? Just say, please hold the sauce, hold the bacon, light cheese, no rice but extra veggies, can you broil it instead of fry, stuff like that. Eat what you want, not what a restaurant wants to give you. Pack emergency snacks. Whenever I'm traveling or just heading to the office for the day, I always keep a few purse-friendly snacks with me. You never want to find yourself super hungry without any good food choices nearby. I like walnut halves, popcorn, and crunchy dill pickles, the best, always nearby. By the way, within 60 seconds of eating a dill pickle, which actually contain zero calories if you read the jar, your brain gets a rush of oxygen. It's related to the combination of the crunch and the vinegar. Live by the 80-20 rule. The gist of that is I make really smart food choices about 80% of the time. The other 20%, I loosen the reins a bit. I don't think it's idealistic to aim for 100% perfection. If I have a loose day, the next day I'm more strict with myself. Like yesterday, I had a few sweet potato fries. They looked good, so I went for it. But today, I'm going to be more careful. Drink water. I know, I know, we're tired of hearing this, but you honestly feel less hungry when you drink water throughout the day. To make it more palatable, I add a dollop of cranberry juice to my water and try to drink at least four bottles a day. That's not always easy, but I force myself. Bite it, write it. I do keep track of everything I eat, just jot it down somewhere. It keeps me honest about what I'm putting in my mouth. If I'm not willing to take two seconds to jot it down, I probably shouldn't be eating it. Either lunch or dinner for me is light. If I know I'm going to eat a big dinner, I'll eat a light lunch. Otherwise, I eat a heavier lunch, lighter dinner. I personally love a light dinner followed later by a snack. Have your nighttime snack planned out. I like a nighttime snack, but it's never random. So when the hunger strikes, I only reach for what I've planned. My favorites, a meatball, a quarter cup of peanuts, a couple of squares of dark chocolate, a sliced crispy pear, and here's a good one. Mix dark chocolate chips and walnuts together in a little dish. It's like a chocolate chip cookie without the dough. Okay, I weigh myself every day and I write it down in a little notebook. Why? It's a lot easier to lose two pounds than 10 pounds. I like to stay on top of things. Don't let 10 pounds creep up on you. Finally, a word about hormones. Be careful with estrogen. Too much estrogen can cause weight gain. Estrogen is a fat storage hormone. So if you use estrogen, watch for that. I'm not talking about the red clover phytoestrogen, but the real bioidentical estrogen. Progesterone, on the other hand, is a fat burning hormone, so you can use that liberally. Need help? Email me. These are my go-to maintenance tips. If you want more of my tips, you can find them in my Eat Yourself Slender book. Oh, I'm matching. 
It's not expensive. Just $2.99 on Amazon.com. Lots more ways to get and stay slim and some recipes too. Yes, Barbara cooks. <laughs> Do you have a tip? Email me. We're all in this together. Barbara and her YouTube friends. Love you all.